guys so this is the time to wind up this long video lecture let's write down the key points of today's discussion today we talked about household electric circuits i have told you that in india most of the equipment that we use in our houses actually works on alternating voltage the alternating voltage that we receive is of the potential difference 220 volt and that has a frequency of 50 hertz we have even discussed about the advantages of alternating current over direct current we know ac can be converted into dc with the cheap devices or with a low cost device while to convert dc into ac expensive devices are required we know ac can be transmitted over long distances with a very less loss of energy also ac can be stepped up or stepped down as per the requirement but dc cannot we have also seen in this lecture that this power supply that we get in our houses we get it with the help of three wires that's the live wire neutral wire and the earth wire the live wire has an insulation of red color and it is always at a potential of 220 volt the neutral wire has black insulation and it is generally at a potential of 0 volt while the earth wire has green insulation and it is at a potential of 0 volt we have then seen in domestic circuits that how different equipments and different appliances are connected to these wires then in this lecture we discussed about the electrical problems that is short circuiting and overloading we have discussed that when live wire comes in contact with the neutral wire accidentally then a large amount of current flows through the circuit and this is called short circuiting while in the case of overloading we discussed that every wire has a particular limit and when the current flowing through that wire exceeds that safety limit it is called overloading <laughs>